So, you broke even? Stay home, Zero. Come on. Trash. Come on. What's going on? That's enough. What are you saying? for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. Welcome to N54. It's time for your local news. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. 
No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Attacks on unaffiliated persons has not exceeded the average. However, Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brain dead chick drags me around a cat house on a wild war chase. So having a grand old time. Arasaka and the Tiger Claws are in bed together. Go fig. so hard to understand. Me, right. No feeling going on, no thinking, no awareness. It's empty. Might as well be latex. Masturbation, sophisticated kind. That's all it is. Whoa. Fuck. Makes perfect sense, that. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire? We find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled, and maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. Looking for an Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm... Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Jack in, please. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning, you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into... experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure, you never get what you expect. Consider my interest piqued. 
All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. matches. Interesting. Is that normal, or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. That it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. You won't find any use for weapons inside. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Clouds is one of the safest places in all of Night City. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. Much better, real. I would eat those thighs. What do you mean, real? She's all ones and zeros. Do you mean I can ask her to do anything? Literally anything? Ask? It's not about asking, man. You just gotta be programmed. At least I would hear no laments about pain. It hurts. It hurts. It's a hologram. What's so hard to get? 
<laughs> Let me have my fantasies. Not like you know how to hack it, so why don't we just shut up and enjoy the show? <coughs> Get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am! No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog! I'm taking it up with you! Here! Now! You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This conk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there! From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir, or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Oh, no shortage of wise asses. I'll see. You're going back upstairs? In a minute. I need to piss first. Huh. You must be... Valerie? V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay then. V. Well... Looks like this will be interesting. So, V, you're dying. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. There's something in those mirrors way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. Asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. You just kind of talk in circles, that it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. Oh, what's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. I was told this place would fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting, this. When true desires go unfulfilled, 
they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. That's tough. Rather let it eat away at me a bit more. Fear of death is what drives us all to do what we do. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. Just want the world to know I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? Death is death is death. You're gone. Game over. You can't know that for certain. Even if you've been there and back. Believe me, I've seen it. And it's fucking boring. You haven't stopped grieving since. Or for what's to come. What's past is past. I'm over it. You're in denial, don't you see? Would it change things even by a hair if I wasn't? <sighs> so what now? Now, you find out what it is you need to do. Which is? You gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've, you go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action, going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. How do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do, but everything has its end. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do, but everything has its end. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk. You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? A lot of things been going on in my head lately, but this was different, refreshing. That's what we do at Clouds. I get why people come here, come back. But I need something else. Evelyn Parker, what do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No.
If you're done here, you should go. You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat. But she could be in trouble. Just wanted to talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out. And maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happen here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody'd care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Can I just stand there or tell me a number? Eleven. This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since... Um... Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah? And do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? A doll. Like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area. Booth 2. I think. Thanks. See? You turned out to be useful after all.